Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to calculate VAT using LibreOffice Calc spreadsheet. So let's go ahead and open up LibreOffice. We've got a blank spreadsheet here and I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And these first three rows, I want to put a title above. So I'm going to do X VAT. So this is going to be the column that shows the price excluding VAT. This will be the VAT amount. And then this last column will be the the, the amount including VAT. So let's highlight these three. So I'm going to left click on the letter A, hold down the mouse button and drag across and highlight these three columns. I'll right click and format cells and then go to currency and click OK. So I want to, let's, let's uh, make these bold in fact. So I'll click on number one here and make them bold. So underneath I want to put some random values and we're just going to calculate the VAT on these values. So this could be values for anything. These could be, let's say you did some projects and you want to, you know, the price exclude. This is what you're going to be charging your client. Now you want to work out how much VAT you need to charge them, right? So here we're going to click on this cell here. We'll hit the equals key. And we need to tell it what does it equal. So this cell equals A2, which is referencing this cell. So we type in A2. And then we're going to do, hold down the shift key and press the number 8 key because we want this star sign. And this star sign represents multiplication in spreadsheets. So you sign, you see the same in Excel or OpenOffice Calc, for example. And then we want to do times 0 0.2, which is actually 20%. So if we hit enter, we'll get the value nine, nine pounds. And if we zoom in a bit more, you see this little black box in the right hand corner here, right hand bottom corner. If we move our mouse over it and hold down the left mouse button, we can drag all the way down and get all the values for all of these rows. Now we want to calculate the including VAT. This is very simple. We'll type in equals, and then we want to reference this first cell, A2. So we type in A2, and then we hit the shift key and hit the plus sign, and we want to plus B2, B2. And now we get 54, and then we can do the series filling again like this. Let's check if these actual values are correct. So if we hit in the round number like 100, then we'll expect to see 20 pounds here and 120 here. So here you can see the 20 and here you can see the 120. So that's how you calculate VAT. Now let's let's do one more example, assuming that you have the VAT price and you want to deduct the VAT cost and work out what the X VAT price would be. So in this column, if we type in ink VAT and in here we'll type in X VAT and then here we'll type in VAT. So we're going to do some sort of reverse calculation now. So we'll copy all of this data into here. And let's just highlight these three columns, right click, format cell, and set them to currency, yeah? currency here, and click OK. So in this cell, we want to do equals this cell here, which is E2, so E2, and divided by 1.2. Now we get the value 100. And if we drag all the way down, we can get all the values excluding VAT. Now to calculate the VAT, we just need to deduct this from this. So we do equals E2, so we're referencing this cell here, minus F2. Now we've got the £20 value, and we drag that all the way down, and we'll get the £8.60. So you can see these columns are actually matching data. In, this in the first example, we had the price ex excluding VAT, so we didn't know what the VAT amount was, uh, we calculated the VAT amount and then we calculated the including amount uh, with VAT. And in this case, we know what the VAT amount is, but we want to work out what the excluding VAT amount is and what the VAT amount would be. So these actually match up, but they're slightly different column layouts because we have to do the calculation slightly differently. So let's say you're in a different country, like, I don't know, wherever you're on the planet, and you happen to be charging 15%, not 20% VAT. So in here, in the cell, all you do is change the 2 to 1.5, and now that will equal 15% VAT value. And you can just drag all the way down here, and it will update the whole spreadsheet, because we're referencing this, this, this values here as well. So whatever you change in this, this cell here, it's going to represent that and reflect it across the whole spreadsheet. So the only other thing we need to do is change this 1.2 to 15 here as well. And then we can drag that one down and we'll get the correct VAT value deducted away. 
in this in the same logic so when you click on this cell and you double click you'll get the formula here and whatever value you type after zero point the zero point will be the value that you're going to calculate so this is 15 percent if you want to calculate 10 percent you put 10 in then you know 10 pan 100 pan 10 percent of that is 10 pan and the adding those values together to give you the including fact will be 110 if you want to calculate 22 percent then you type in 22 and you get the 22 percent value but remember you need to do the same on this cell here as well so in here you need to change that one to 22 uh, 22 and then you can just drag down and replicate the formula here and drag down here and replicate the formula and now you've got 22% calculated for all of these figures here and here. So let's just fix this back to UK pricing, which will be 20%. You can actually type in 0 0.2 or 0 0.20. It's one of the same thing. And then you can just drag down here. And then we go to this one, double click, set this one to 20%. And then drag all the way down. And you'll see 66.60 and 66.60. These two cells here, they match the same amount. And these two here will match the same amount. And these ones here will match the same amount. So you know your calculations are correct. So in the first example, we had excluding VAT. We calculated it. And in the second example, we know the VAT, but we want to work out what the VAT is excluded and the VAT amount. Okay. That's the end of this tutorial and I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial.